Hello and welcome to Chili Bee Gaming. I'm Evie and today we're back with some more Control as part of our Sunday Fun Day playlist. And last time we set ourselves the task of finding the Prime Candidate Program. And we're going to continue to do that, so let's get into it. Right, okay. So I think we need to go through to security and then up a level. Do you suppose? I think so. Maybe up this way. Oh, God. Yeah, I think it's through here. Busting through, baby. Busting through the door. Oh. Oh, God. All right. Ow. God bless it. Where is this thing? Oh, it's there. Alright. Well, I didn't expect that, but that's fine. Oh! Is that it? Oh! Oh no. Anyone else? Prime candidate program. Okay. Here we go. Oh yes, I remember this. I remember now. We came through here and battled the monster thingy in the weird, twisty corridors. Yeah. Mm. P6. A wee P6. I wish things had gone differently in ordinary for us. Yeah. Whoa. Mission won't change things. Finding the projector will. Ordinary. Yep. There's so much coming together in this one case. Uh, a new object of power, something we have not seen before. I mean, coming from me, that's that's saying something. I, the boy, Dylan Faden, prime candidate six. And the sister as well, but once we catch up with her. But the, the boy had so much potential. Well, we're talking Northmore level readings here. Northmore? And, and I don't want to invoke his name, but it's completely different circumstances here. It's remarkable. Okay. There was an incident. Yes. Well, Dylan was P6, wasn't he? Are we P7? We lost a valuable member of our team, yes. Oh dear. Excessive force. Dylan has so much. But he's... he's just a kid. I'll take the blame. He, he, he needs some slack. I mean, boys will be boys. He's exceptional and under a lot of stress. Mm -hmm. Roberts got killed. It's an unfortunate accident. That's all. Marshall needs to realize this. We will make this work. We'll make this work. Mm. So what happened? Somebody obviously got killed, but it was obviously something that Dylan did. Okay. What have we got here? Hmm. Dylan Faden transcript. Oh, there's a transcript. Okay. Um, Dylan Faden transcript. Okay. Federal Bureau of Control transcript of conversation subject Dylan Faden for review by Dr. Darling. Confidential. Note. Subject was alone during this outburst. 
the play done in 1752 16. You again! I thought I told you to leave me alone. Why are you showing me this? I can't do anything. Can't you see where I am? Why don't you help me get the F out of here? You always show me things I can't do anything about. Stop showing me her! I don't care anymore, and I don't care about you. You both left me here to rot. F off, you B. I will dig out my own brains if it means getting rid of you. I don't want you here. Get the effing message. Subject repeated the phrase F off numerous times before being sedated at 1753. Okay. So, so, so Dylan maybe, maybe went a little cuckoo bananas, but I mean, he was trapped here on his own, bless him, when he was a kid. What's this one? P6 victim autopsy. Case 45-HQ-121. Case summary. Agent killed during redacted involving redacted redacted code name P6. Autopsy findings. Blunt force injuries of the head and neck. Extensive trauma of the abdominal region. Lacerations and contusions of the upper and lower torso. Fracture of the spinal cord between the L1 and L2 vertebrae. Avulsion fracture of the third through tenth ribs left and right. Blunt force injuries to the extremities, abrasions, lacerations and contusions of the extremities, dislocation of left and right elbow, dislocation of left and right knee. Wow. Conclusion. After examination, it was determined that the cause of death was internal bleeding that occurred when the redacted was contorted through his redacted... Oh my god. Oh, that sounds awful. That really does sound awful. So... Dylan kind of went a little bit berserk. P7. A wee P7? Is this what Dylan wanted me to see? The ordinary aid it doesn't aid. matter. We need to find that projector. Okay, what's in here? Candidate P7 outfit? Oh, hey. What, what, what's, what's this, though? All the times I felt paranoid, I was right. They were the following could have given me the answers, but they just stood by and watched me. Wow. Okay. That's kind of freaky. Okay, what's 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 this? Jesse Faden movement tracking. Subject Jesse Faden, P7. So we are P7. Okay. Uh, re eastward movement cause concern. Departs Cheyenne, Cheyenne, Wyoming. Would that be Why, W Y? Arrives in Sydney. Departs Sydney. Arrives in Des Moines. Departs Des Moines. Arrives in Chicago. Departs Chicago. Arrives in South Bend. Departs South Bend. Arrives in Cleveland. Departs Cleveland. Arrives in Bloomsburg. Departs Bloomsburg. Arrives in New York City. Wow. So she travelled quite a bit. I mean, I don't really know much about. Um, US geography, but wow. So from the 24th of September to the 29th of October, she visited one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight places. This is obviously when she was looking for, for the bureau, I'm guessing. Okay. Ah, what's this? We used to play there all the time. Me and Dylan. And other kids as well. We loved it. This time, I remember was different. We found a way in, deeper into it, like it had shifted. We went inside and that's where we found the slide projector. When did she do this the interview? It's a place for lost things. Things that have been thrown away. I'm a psychiatrist. Hmm. Did you ever feel that way when you were growing up, Jesse? What? No. Yes, but that has nothing to do with... Was there a slide projector at your home when you were small? No. Those were before your time, I suppose. But your family did look at photos together, maybe. In one form or the other? Maybe. Hmm. When was this? 
Can you remember? At parties, barbecues? How did it make you feel? Did your parents ever show pictures that embarrassed you? Was alcohol ever involved at these parties? Did your parents drink? Did that make you uncomfortable? No. That's just stupid. Come on. That has nothing to do with this. Nothing. This light projector... Let me ask you this. As a child, did you ever fantasize about worlds inside pictures? Inside a painting? You know, stepping into a painting, into a hidden world, escaping and finding adventure there? Away from your parents? I don't... So, I don't remember. Maybe. I don't know. How weird. Oh my god. So they were literally watching her all this time. I know we've got to go through that door there, but I just kind of want to have a little nosy round. See if there's anything else here. Go away. My god. Like I said, they were watching her this whole time, like... Oh, really? There you go. There you go, this health thing. Bro. Dude, where are you? Ooh, flamey, flamey, flamey. Okay. Oh yeah, this is where it was all like twisted. Is it actually twisted or is it? Oh, okay, yeah, it is. Oh, this is kind of weird. Oh, it's weird. What is it? Oh. Bright Falls? Supple Bright Falls? Oh my god, what a throw over to um, Alan Wake! Incidentally, we finished Alan Wake yesterday as part of the old Spooky Saturday, so if you do have any uh, suggestions for a new horror game for Spooky Saturdays, Please leave it in the comments below. Bright Falls, AWE-35. Details. Alice Wake, Mr. Wake's wife, found during the Bureau investigation. She was interviewed and evaluated. She showed signs of severe mental trauma in the form of redacted memory loss. She was later directed to treatment. It was concluded that she had been trapped in the threshold during its manifestation. Notable individuals still missing after the Bright Falls event are FBI agent Robert Nightingale and Dr. Emile Hartman referred to The Creator's Dilemma and The File Re... The Cauldron Lake Lodge. Hmm. Bureau researchers believe this event was the result of a forceful perception of subjective reality stemming from Mr. Wake, overlapping on our own. Wake has been flagged as a potential para-utilitarian. See Prime Candidate Programme file for more details. In 2011, a book by Clay Stewart titled The Alan Wake Files was published by Roundabout Press, New York and Olympia. Agents interviewed Clay Stewart and suspected minor para-utilitarian sensitivity. He was placed under indefinite surveillance notes. A monitoring station was established at Cauldron Lake to alert the Bureau of any future activity. I see. So this is kind of all tying it all in together. That's kind of cool, actually. Because obviously this was made by the same company who... Well, the same game studio who made Alan Wake. So it's kind of... Kind of cool they tied it all in together. Oh, this is a little bit weird, though. We're on a slant, and it's a little freaky. That sounds like a ball of death down there. I don't really fancy dealing with it, to be real. 
came in through there, didn't we? But I suppose... All right. Maybe it's not a ball of death. Maybe it's a... Oh, that hurt, bro. There we go. That took care of him. Else. Oh, he's down there. here. Yeah, because we came down here last time, didn't we? I remember now. I think it's kind of cool, though, that they have tied it all in together. That's that's quite a sort of clever thing to do, really. Because not only are you obviously promoting your own game, but you're kind of giving it a little bit more of a background, which is kind of cool. I like it. I'd love to read Alan Wake's file. That'd be kind of interesting. Let's, um... Let's head on through. Good God. All right. Transit corridor south. Anything else in here? Ooh. Entropic echo. Right. Transit corridor, turntable, ordinary AWE prime. I studied program. what happened in ordinary here. That's the place to start looking. All right. Oh, there's trouble. No sneak damage, really. Ooh. Hurt, bro. Oh, I saw you. Oh, throw your buddy at you, and you at the wall. That works. I like the throwing people thing, that's really cool. <laughs> so, what's this? Work chat. Dead dog. Oh my god, what? Okay. Federal Bureau of Control. I see your creepy teeth delivery and raise you a dead dog. Yeah, like a straight up deceased dog. Had a collar on it and everything. It had been rotting in that box since they packed it up. Go ahead and imagine how that smelled. So don't go whining to me. I wish I got to watch a parade of human teeth. I wish I got to watch a parade of human teeth? I... well... Well, all right, okay. This place gets weirder and weirder. This game gets weirder and weirder. Every single time we play it, every single week, when I sit down to record these episodes, this thing, it just gets weirder and weirder. So there's an elevator there. You can go away. Um, okay, some more, more goodies. Okay. Okay, what's in there? Okay, this this sounds interesting. Can we go in here? We certainly can. Ooh! Willow AWE Shipping Manifest. Okay. Shipping Manifest, Willow AWE. List, inventory list of recovered materials. A hollow sphere, stone-like material. Vitrified soil. Redacted pieces of various sizes and colours. Animal carcass, possibly canine. Rusted metal bucket. Leather wallet. Aged shotgun cartridge. All materials to go to the investigation sector for further analysis. I mean, what in the world? Seriously? Okay. Anything else? No? Mm. Okay, I guess we've got to go on this side, then. And in the elevator. 
or lift. Okay. Hello? Oh! You ain't gonna catch me out, girl. Okay. Dylan and I were both prime candidates. What's that? Experiments. Mm hmm. Well, so we're P7. All right. All right. This is this is going to be bad news bears, isn't it? Clear. Friend to your face. Anyone else? Oh, another cleansing point, I imagine. Or point to cleanse or something. Alright. Let's do it. Oof. Look at that. Wait, hey, NYC Subway? Well, well, all right. We're going back home. Are we? Well, let's... Um, of course we are. Let's just take a little peep, shall we? started um, there, and it's... Never gone away. Ooh. All right. Weapon forms. Is there anything we can upgrade here? Upgrade shatter or upgrade pierce? I think shatter would be quite useful to upgrade. If we can. Weapon form upgraded. Awesome. Okay. Um, let's go back. What about what about personal stuff? Alright. Well, I, th I guess we have to go in through here. There we are. Is there anything else in here actually before we before we disappear? Any other files or anything? Oh, whoa, Jesse. Oh look at this. What have we here? Oh no. Hmm. I still don't know what we can possibly do here. Whether we're supposed to be able to do something or not. In this, oh god! Do you know what? Let's um, let's move away before we before we do something else ridiculous. Anything back this way? No. So what's the New York subway got to do with this? So ordinary AWE, Sterling AWE, ordinary dump site. Charge blast but weapons mods full? How are our weapons mods full? Hmm. Alright. Okay. So assume it the turntable access the ordinary AWE by rotating the table. Oh, is that what we do, is it? Okay. Oh, there's an angry ball of death. Wonderful. Just what the doctor ordered. Good God. Okay, so, 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 how do we, how do we? 
Hmm. Well, we must have to go down there at some point, but... How does one turn the turntable? How does the turntable turn? There's gotta be a way to rotate these tracks. Mm -hmm. Maybe there's a control panel nearby. Alright. Angry ball of death down there. Giving it out. Okay, let's cut rid of that. Hmm. Angry ball of death. Bridge operator. I reckon it's in there then. Wait a minute. Okay. North. There's got to be a way to rotate these tracks. Yes, I know, Jesse. We are. Maybe there's a control panel nearby. Hmm. Angry ball of death. Well, I know that there's a um, box over here that I want to sniff around in, so let's um, run over and grab that while we can. Goodbye, angry box of death. Weirdo. All right. So it must be in here then. Bridge operator. In we go. Oh. What's at the top of the staircase? Ah. Oh. Okay. So that's obviously the way out. But then what's this down here? That I do see. Whoop. I don't like the angry ball of death. I wish there was a way we could get rid of it. Clear. Angry ball of death. Go away. You wretch. You filthy animal. Alright, let's... Uh, oh, hello. Hold on a minute. What have we got here? Work chat. Teeth. Show me your teeth. Um, okay. Federal Bureau of Control. Guess who just had to inspect an inbound delivery of, like, a hundred teensy tiny little boxes? Me. That's who. And you know what was inside each one? A single human tooth. Effing gross. Yeah, that is pretty grim. Blech. Stinky. Alright. Okay. Okay, this is this is taking a while. I assume once it gets round here, this will open. But hey, continue on towards the ordinary AWE. What's this? Launch efficiency. I wonder if that's any better than what we have at the moment. Ooh, got another weapons mod. Cost, ammo cost per shot. Maybe that might be worth having. What's headshots though? Headshot boost. Do you know what? Screw it. Let's use the headshot boost. Um, now we can have another personal one. So, what's that? Thirty percent health boost or a minus sixteen percent energy launch energy cost? See, the health boost might be nice. What's that? Evade energy boost. Shield energy cost launch energy cost. I think we'll go with that, you know. Why not? Why not? Okay. Alright. Um, through here? Wow. Alright. My god. Oh, this isn't going to be bad news bears, is it? Leo. Something's going to pop out, creep out the shadows, do us in, or try and do us in, I don't know. Oh! Jeez Louise! Whoa! Alright, dude! Chill out! Oh, I 
I know what that is. I know exactly what that is. Dead? Wow, she took a lot of our health though. Oof. Man, that's rough. Okay, well, let's have a little peep around. Oop. Dink. Anything else? Come on now. Wow. Really? Nothing. Well. Is it up here or through there. That looks like it might be, whoops, might be something through this way. Oh. Or maybe not. Good grief. Hmm. See, it looks like there might be a way in there. Maybe we could, could we move something. No. Alright. Well, never mind. Under here. Anything? Aha! Ugh. Tropic Echo. Anything else? No. Well, alright. Let's hope we can recover some health, God bless it. Dear me. She took it out of us, the old witch. Okay. Boom. What was that? What was that? What was that? Flash? I saw a flash. What was the flash? I didn't like the flash. Okay, so that battery obviously has to go in one of the... Oh, and there's another one there. It's one. There, maybe? Okay. Another elevator. And also over here. Do Jesse, hello. I must stop doing that. I can't see anywhere else for that battery to go. So there's one there. Oh, wait, there you go. There you go, never mind. Bring it out. Plug it in. What did it do? Call the lift? Looks like it. Hmm. Well, alright. Guess we better get in then. The ordinary AWE area. Gets its own area. My god. Search for the slide projector object of power. Well, oh, look at it, bro. I will take the health drops, thank you. Oh, my goodness. Seat, boys. Don't get boxed in. <laughs> All about the stupid puns today. Okay, we're fully healthed up. Thank God. Whoa. All right. Jeez. Anything in here? Files-wise, doesn't look like it, does it? Okay. Nothing else. Ooh something down here. Airplane evaluation order. Okay, the floor's freaking out. Um, okay. Altered examination request. Airplane wreckage. Summary. The airplane in question has been brought in from a private airfield located in the town of Redacted, Cincinnati. It is suspected to be connected to the Redacted AWE. See case file Redacted for details. And is being evaluated for altered status. 
The plane is currently being stored in the transit corridor in the containment sector, brought there through the New York subway tunnel. Special access redacted for more information on the tunnel redacted and links to urban legends centered on ghost stations abandoned tracks and redacted see file 4-12-4521 the plane's black box is currently being evaluated for redacted redacted and initial readings have been taken by a research team though no altered status has yet been detected refer to file 9-12-8371 for a full report hmm okay so there's a the plane that we yeah this plane this plane is 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 a mysterious thing okay what else have we got here I guess it's down there but let's just have a peep in here nothing okay wow this is bright this is bright is the transit corridor turntable ordinary AWE? Oh, I see you, dude. Ooh. Ordinary AWE stage. Ordinary AWE stage 1A dump. Witness testimonies. The first slide was a room with dirty water and dolls on a shelf. There were lots of dolls. DF. Dylan Faden? Interview 2002. The house was empty. No one lived there. We played in there a lot. It was our secret playhouse. Jesse Faden. Therapy session 2010. I went to school with Neil. Some kids called him Nosebleed Neil. Likely Neil Hosenberg missing. It was mean. He had asthma. Tom, note, likely Tom Barlow missing. And his gang, Freddy, note, likely Freddy, Frederick Bartwell missing. Hugo, no one by this name was found in public records, bullied him. We brought Neil to the dump to play. Dylan Faden, interview, 2002. Extrapolated information, unconfirmed existence of additional slide designated house. As in the house? I mean, we are in the house, are we not? Okay. Alright, it's just garbage. Okay. There's a lot of weird noises here. America overnight. Celebrating 29 years, shining a light in the shadows. Thank you for staying with us. Here's our first caller. Hi. What I'm about to tell you, if they found out, I don't know what would happen. If who found out, hmm. brother? The men in the suits. They told me it was an industrial accident. But this is something else. Something nobody talks about. Ordinary. This is certainly doesn't sound very ordinary. No, not ordinary. Ordinary. It's a town. Yeah. And it wasn't an industrial accident. I mean, that's what they said. But that's bullshit. Whoa, please watch the language caller. Oh, dear. At 2 a.m. But we're still a friendly show. At 2 a.m. Good God. It's just, my brother lived there. They said the town was destroyed, but it wasn't. I went there. The people are gone, but the town's there. It's still there. So the population of an entire town disappears, yet the town remains. Tell me, was the phrase, there is no salvation written anywhere? I'm, I'm not sure. The mm. same thing happened in Brazil in 23, a village called Fort Verde. More than 600 people just up and left. That noise is very irritating. Guerrilla forces, but we know the truth. A mass abduction, <gasps> as predicted by my regular guest, Dr. Quincy Reagan. Abduction? You mean aliens? That's bullshit! I know they're lying! Now I warned you about the language, caller. I'm afraid we're gonna have to cut you off. Oh dear. And good timing, too. It's time for a short break. Hang in there. America Overnight will be right back. Well, alright. There you go. That noise is massively annoying. What the hell is it? this ordinary summary okay ordinary awe-24 event summary 
An AWE occurred in the town of Ordinary caused by an object of power slide projector ID 00P15 discovered by local children at the dump site outside of town. When a specific set of slides are used in the projector, the projected images open doorways to other dimensions. Multiple slides were used by the children, resulting in the disappearance of the town's adult population. Oh my god. Event response. On August 30th, 2002, siblings... Dylan Faden, 10 years old, see P6 materials, and Jesse Faden, 11 years old, see P7 materials, were playing at the local dump when they found a discarded slide projector, COOP15 case file, and Darling Presentations redacted for details. A team led by Director Trench and Dr Darling arrived at the site on September the 14th. The AWE had ended, but the team found the Faden children who led them to the slide projector and the slides, which had been buried, been burned with the exception of one, Jesse escaped when agents attempted to detain the pair. In total, 17 surviving individuals were found in the town. All of them were brought in for questioning and tests. See interviews redacted and prime candidate programme files redacted. Wow, okay. All right, so, okay, something clearly, clearly happened. There is a curious correlation oh. with the yet unknowable forces intruding upon our world mm. in the form of altered world events. It is. These forces gravitate toward archetypal objects, a gun, a, a television, a supposedly haunted house. So clearly humanity affects this process. Our collective unconscious is a, a map of sorts. We hold the key, but we don't know how to use it. We create these archetypes through everyday life popular culture, urban legends, but we are observing and influencing a complicated system in action. We can change the likelihood of something being a receptacle for these forces just by thinking about it. But we haven't found a method to control the outcome. Mm. And yet, there is something unique in us, in our dreams, in the conceptual reality with power, with our minds. What's the cause and what's the effect? Are we the starting point or just a necessary evil in this? A byproduct, a reflection, a projection. We'll struggle to find the answers to these hard questions or die trying. Mm -hmm. All right. Ordinary AW stage 4A. Okay, so we went from 1A to 4A. What happened in 4A? Okay. Uh, there we are. Ordinary AWE, stage 4A. Town proper. Witness testimonies. Jesse and me followed the dung monkeys to the cave. There was a lot of them. More of the kids from town had joined up. It was really scary. Jesse grabbed the projector and we ran as fast as we could. They chased us. I fell and hurt my knee. Jesse tried to help me, but the dung monkeys were coming. They were just about to get us. But then Neil showed up. Neil looked like a dog, like a melted dog, but I knew it was him. Neil said a lot of times he didn't like being a boy because Tom just beat him up. I think he liked being a dog. Dylan Faden, interview 2002. The projector wouldn't turn off, so we changed the slide to the hand. I heard her immediately. She promised to help. Jesse Faden, therapy session 2010. Jesse said we should call her Polaris. It's because she was doing stars at school. Dylan Faden, interview 2002. Ex extrapolated information. Additional slide designation hand SID 36 is verified and in bureau possession. Unconfirmed existence of paranatural entity. Designation Dog Neil. EID 19930. Ah. Hmm. Well, this is a curious, um, a curious state of affairs, isn't it? Oh no, we've just listened to that. Okay, so where's all this racket coming from? Good lord. Okay, that's where all this racket's coming from. Ordinary AWE Stage 2, Sled 
Hill Cave. Witness testimonies. After what happened at school to Mrs. Chester, we started spying on Tom and saw where they took the projector. They'll invade an interview 2002. Tom and his troglodytes were using the Sled Hill Cave as their headquarters. That's where the projector was. They'd been using the temple slide. We called it that, but really it was a broken concrete thing, like a warehouse or a bomb shelter or something. Very dark. The not mother lived there with her babies, children. I don't know. She was feeding Tom and the others her milk. They were changing into little monsters. We called them dung monkeys. Jesse Faden, Therapy Session 2010. Extrapolated information. Unconfirmed existence of additional slide designation temple. Unconfirmed existence of paranatural entity designation not mother. EID 19928. Ha! Very odd. All right. So, what else have we got here? Annual evaluation of Dylan Faden, formerly P6, performed by Dr. Carl Vaughan. The questions asked here correspond to the fifth iteration of the Gunner's psychological assessment. Are you ready, Dylan? Let's begin then. In a single word, describe the world around you. Where's Casper? Who's Casper? Dr. Darling he oh. is out of the building today. He was never out. He didn't want to come, did he? Mm. He never visits, not since Roberts. To tell Darling it wasn't my fault. I couldn't control it yet, but I can now. I learned. Will you tell him? In a single word, describe the world around you. A prison. Oh, God. A cold, empty prison. Not even a poster on the wall. Mm -hmm. What is the next number in the sequence 3, 6, 9, 12, 15? 18. What day is it today? How the hell would I know? <laughs> it's not like you give me a calendar. You find a rabbit in the woods. It is breathing, but not moving. You cannot see any blood. What do you do? Leave it. Expand on that. It doesn't matter. The rabbit's not real. None of it's real. Oh, God. What day is it today? Do you enjoy asking people questions that can't be answered? Is, is this what gets you up in the morning? What you dreamed of doing as a scared, stupid little girl? Can you describe a dog to me? In ordinary, we had a friend. Nosebleed Neil. Oh, God. When it all went crazy, you know what I mean. Nosebleed Neil turned into a dog. Or something like a dog. What day is it tomorrow? Fuck off! I don't know! Oh, dear. There is no calendar! How can I fucking know? Dylan, calm down. Fuck you! Fuck you and fuck Casper! Oh, dear. Hey, hey! Uh, are you watching this, you old fuck? Did you send a bitch because you're too scared of me? Where is Casper? Security, get a team in here. I need it. Oh dear. Okay, I think Dylan killed her. Alright, let's cleanse this. Ugh. Oh. Ugh. Oh. Thank God for that. Very loud and very annoying. But we are going to leave it there for this week, folks. But my God, this thing just gets weirder and weirder and weirder. So, from the looks of it, me and Dylan, Jesse and Dylan, should I say, were caught up in an AWE in our town in Ordinary and all the adults disappeared. Maybe? Hmm. Anyway, we'll find out more next time. So until next time, be safe, be good, and look after yourselves.